Okay, I'm Connor. We're gonna. My group's gonna talk about where the red fern grows, the book and the movie, and the characters. I'm gonna introduce my group. Um, my name is Olivia Lucas, and I'm 11 years old. My name is Paint King, and I am 11 years old. My name is Elijah Howard, and I'm 11 years old. My name is Gail Ochoa, and I'm 11 years old. My name is Owen Schmidt, and I'm 10 years old. Okay, Olivia, how would you scale the book? Like, 1 to 10. Um, I'd scale the book uh, over 10. Peyton, how would you scale the book? I would scale the book 11 or 10. I would give the book an 8. An 8? I would, I would give the book a 10. How would you... What would you give the book on? A 10. 10? A new car? Uh, probably a 10. Um, now we're going to scale the movie. Owen, how would you scale the movie? Like 1 to 10. 1, 2. Wasn't that great? Okay. Gail, how would you scale the movie? Um, about 5 and 5, like 50 50, because they got ha uh, half of it right and half of it wrong. Eli? <laughs> I'll give the book a. Well, the movie a 7. <clears throat> uh, Peyton? I would give the movie a 1 or 2. Olivia? Um, I'd give the movie a 0. <laughs> Connor? I give it a one. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna describe old Dan, little Ann, and Billy. Uh, Olivia, how, what would you describe old Dan? Um, I think old Dan is courageous and fearless. Peyton, I would describe old Dan as strong. I would describe Billy as selfless. I would describe old Dan strong and fearful. I would describe uh, Billy as selfless. Okay. And Connor? Um, old Dan would be determined. Mm -hmm. uh, little Anna and Billy, how would you describe them? Um, I describe Little Anne loyal and Billy hopeful. I would describe Little Anne as fearless and Billy as generous. I would describe Little Anne as dauntless. I would describe... Little Anne as uh, smart and Billy selfless. Owen, I describe old Dan as strong and determined, and little Anne as smart and smart. Yeah. And um, what was your favorite character, Owen? Probably Sammy. Sammy the cat. Uh, my, I couldn't choose over uh, Old Dan and Loran, so there are teams of both. Eli? My, my favorite is Old Dan. E, uh, Peyton? Mine would have to be Grandpa. Grandpa. Um, my favorite is Old Dan and Little Dan and Little Anne because they're um, not the same when they aren't with each other. Uh... Old Dan. Mm. Um, <coughs> what two characters in the movie um, would you pick? Like your favorite? Um, I liked uh, Old Dan and Little Ann. Peyton, Grandpa, and Billy. I like Sammy and the three sisters. Um, I like <coughs> about. Yeah, old Dan and the band. What is yours, Owen? <coughs> Sammy and Billy. Sammy and Billy. Okay, and what did they teach you, Owen? Um, to be brave, kind, and, uh... I forgot the answer. Gail, what, would, what did the characters teach you? Uh, to don't be... Well, I don't know. Okay. Old Dan taught me to be brave, strong, and never let go of things that are important. Um, Billy taught me to not be selfish and and think of others. Um, Old Dan taught me that even when it's tough or you feel like it's impossible, just keep trying. Okay.
Okay, so that is it for the very first group. I'm going to have this group quietly head on back to their desk, and I'm going to have this group come on up next. And you're going to hear a little bit of noise in the background as we're shifting groups. We have another group of awesome fifth grade students coming on up here. And uh, they will be sitting down, and in a minute there will be a new person that will be moderating the next group conversation. And again, the topic is where the red fern grows. And these are fifth grade students from Sublimity Elementary. OK, so today, um, me and my group are going to be talking about um, like the book and the movie and the characters. So first, I'm going to introduce my introduce my group. Hi, I'm Noah. I'm 11 years old and I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm 11 years old and I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, I'm Evan. I'm 11 years old and in the fifth grade. Hi, I'm Caleb Hollenbeck. I'm in the fifth grade and I enjoy hunting and farming. Hi, I'm Ryan Hill and I'm 11 years old and in the fifth grade. Okay, so what was your favorite part about the book and why? My favorite part about the book was it wasn't just a plain old book. It had some interesting parts in it. What I think about the book is it taught you some manners not to be um, selfish. I like the end because it was very emotional. And nice. uh, I like the book because it had some uh, interesting parts in it and yeah. Uh, my favorite part of book of the book, like Evan said, would probably have to be the end of it. So, what would you rate the book? One to ten. Ten being the highest. Ten. Mm -hmm. Ten. Nine. Uh, five. Nine. Okay. So now, what was your favorite part of the movie, and why? I had no favorite parts of the movie, to be honest. Yeah, it was. It wasn't one of my favorite movies. Yeah, I had no favorite parts. Mm, I had some favorite parts in the movie. It was a good, pretty good movie. Okay, so now we're also gonna rate the movie one to ten, ten being the highest. Uh, I'd give it a eight and a half, nine, two. I'd give it a zero, one. I'd probably give it a one, two. So now we're going to talk about who is our favorite character in the book and why. My favorite character would be little Anne because she was a lot smarter than everyone else. My favorite character was little Anne and she taught me never to, to never give up. Mine would probably be old Dan because he's very... Um, my favorite uh, character was Old Dan because he, no matter what, he wouldn't give up. Even if it was that mountain lion at the end, he wouldn't stop fighting it till the end, till uh, Billy pried his jaws open. Um, my favorite character would have to be Little D Little Anne. Because she was courageous and she was caring of others. So now we're going to talk about what your favorite character taught you. Um, little Anne taught me to look for another way to solve the problem. Little Anne taught me to never give up and look at something twice. Well, Dan taught me to be determined about what I do. Well, Dan taught me to never give up and keep fighting no matter what. Little Ann taught me to be courageous. So, yeah. That's it for our group. Okay, so the second group is now finished and they're heading back to their desk. Thank you for moving quietly. And the third group is now coming up and they're going to be bringing, bringing uh, their papers and moving up quietly. And the moderator of the third group will be sitting up front right here. So we're having the moderator come on up front.
and they're taking a seat right now. And you guys can go ahead and begin as soon as you're ready. Hello, I'll be your host, Owen, and um, here's our cast. My name's Cassidy. My name's Justin. My name's Isabel. Okay, now that you know our cast, let's get right into the questions. Um, our first question will be, how did you like the book on a scale of 1 to 10? Cassidy? 10. Justin? 9. Isabel? Um, 10. No, wait, I think it broke a scale, 11. Okay. Um, Cassidy, um, or our second question will be, how did you like the movie on a scale of 1 to 10? Cassidy? Negative 1. Justin? 1. Um, uh, 0. Okay. Um, our third question will be, um, or, yes, our third question will be, what did you like m most about Billy? Cassidy? He was very helpful. Justin? He was selfless. Isabel? Um, he loved his family, and he put himself at the end of the line. Okay, um, Cassidy, what did you like most about little Anne? She was really brave. Justin? She was smart. Isabel? Um, she was small. Cassidy, what did you like about old Dan most? His personality. Justin? He was strong and outgoing. Isabel? Um, I liked how he was stubborn. Okay, um, Cassidy, what's one thing that you will remember most from the book? The big hunt and when they won the silver cup. Justin? When Billy went into town. As well? Um, when little Anne was about to die, but Billy saved her. Um, Cassidy, what's one thing that, or what's something that they left out of the movie? Sammy the cat. Justin? The silver cup. Isabel? Um... That Billy didn't win the gold cup. Okay. That's it for our group. Okay, so group number three is going to quietly head on back to their desk. And while they're heading back to their desk, the next group's going to come up. And it's that they're heading this way. And the moderator's going to take a seat right here. They're taking a seat right now. And they're going to be. <laughs> they're going to be starting. They're going to be starting right now. Um, hello, I am Jonathan, and now I will introduce the rest of our group. I am Brendan Del Grande, and I like baseball. I am Bailey Peterson, and I like basketball. That is our group, and our first question will be, how would you rate the book on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably 11, back in the scale. Oh, um, I'd give it like a 10-ish, 11. I'd give it a 10. How would you rate the movie? Probably an 8. 9-ish. Give it a 0. What was your favorite part of the book? Probably when Billy got his dogs. Um, probably when he, well, Billy and Old Dan and Little Ann won the Silver Cup and Gold Cup. Well, my favorite part, I have to agree with Bailey, is when they won the Silver Cup and the Gold Cup. Um, what was your favorite part of the movie? Probably when they're on their, um, probably when they're hunting. Mm. In the movie, I I think it was when um well basically nothing because there was no favorite. I agree. I don't have a favorite part in the movie. Who's your favorite character and why? Old Dan because he's curious and dumb in his own way. It's a fun way. Um, I'd say both Little Ann and Old Dan because they work together as a group and with Old Dan's strongness and strength and um, Little Ann's smartness, they work together. I'd have to say Billy because he's courageous and he taught me a lot. What did your favorite character teach you? Teach you? To don't worry if you're dumb or not. <laughs> um to be strong and don't give up and 
you know, if you're in a bad situation, just try and figure out and think a way out of it. What Billy and all of the characters taught me is to keep fighting and never give up, even if your life depends on it. So that is that is it for our groups. Okay, so so this group's gonna head on head on back. This group's gonna head on back, and now we're having another group come on up quickly. And the moderator will be taking a seat right here by the microphone. The moderator's taking a seat. And they'll be getting started in just a second. Okay. All right, so go ahead, anytime you're ready. Today we're going to be talking about where the red fern grows, movie and book, but first let's learn everyone's name. I'm Carter and I like snakes. I'm Kayla and I like to read. I'm Nick and I like frogs. I'm Charlie and my favorite color is purple. Uh, my name is Noah, I like food and farming. My name is Mary and I like softball. So now we are going to rate the book on a scale of 1 to 10. I rate the book 8. I rate the book 9.5. I rate the book 7. I rate the book 10. 10. I rate the book 10. Now we are going to rate the movie on a scale of 1 to 10. I gotta say probably a 5. A 2. A 10. 1. Negative 10. A 3. Now we are going to say one word that describes little Anne. Uh, small. Smart. 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 Small. Selfless. I mean, courageous. Now we are going to pick a word that describes Billy. Uh, tenacious. Kind. Tenacious. Selfless. Um, nice. Selfless. Now we're going to pick a word that describes old Dan. Uh, big. Must be <laughs> outgoing. Uh, strong. Respectful. What is your <coughs> favorite character? Mine is probably Billy because he put his family before he did. Put himself. Mine is probably little Ann. Mine is purple. Little Ann. Um. Old Dan. Man is little Dan. What did your favorite character teach you? Never give up. To think before I act. Never stop. Start thinking before you solve the problem. Um, never too late to try. Mine taught me to keep going even you know you know you want to stop. And that is it. Yeah. Okay, so this next group coming up will be our final group, and they will uh, be coming up. Don't forget your secondary recording device. We need that just in case we have something not working with this. Moderator, please have a seat. So this is a little bit larger group, so they're taking their seats around the table right now. And they're going to begin now. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the book and the movie Where the Red Friend Grows. But first we're going to introduce ourselves. I'm Presley, I'm in the fifth grade, and I like to swim. I'm Miley, and I'm in the fifth grade, and I like sports. I'm Don, and I like football. I'm Laura, I'm in the fifth grade, and I like volleyball. I'm Ethan, I'm in the fifth grade, and I like soccer. I'm Jacob Axmaker, I like basketball. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about the book. So we're going to rate the book 10 being really good and 1 being not so good. Maya? 9. Donnie? 10. Mara? 10. Ethan? 10. 10. Okay, so now we're going to talk about what our favorite part in the book was. Maya? Um, the end. Donnie? When Billy got his dogs. Mara? When Billy got his dogs. Um, when Billy got um, the gold cup. When Billy got the gold cup. 
Okay. So now we're going to talk about the movie, and we're going to rate it. Miley? Three. Donnie? Ten. Tamara? A four. Um, one. Uh, five. Okay, so now we're going to talk about what our character, what what our favorite character was, and why we like them. Miley? Old Dan, because he never gives up. Donnie? Um, Millie and the cook. Because she's smart and yeah. Tamara? Little Anne because she's smart and thinks before she does. Um, Billy because he's selfless. Old Dan because he never gives up and he laid down his life for his owner. Okay. That's all. So that is all that we have today for this podcast. I think later on later on we might have another conversation about Something that I was hearing everybody talk about that was interesting to me is it seemed like uh, the scale rating was way different between the movie and the book. So at a further time, we might have a discussion, go a little bit farther into why is it that some of you hate the movie yet love the book? Because that's interesting to me. Thank you for tuning in. We hope to share with you later. Bye.